Welcome back to the Sunshine Way. I am your lovely, lovely, lovely host, Kaya. And welcome back to my channel where we become better teachers, better dancers, and live a life of light and let our light shine. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about everything that I've been doing so far this week and what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the week. I wanted to come up with this video so that y'all will have maybe something if y'all need something to fill in space or something really informational or something really educational to fill in your spaces. Um, this is specifically for my middle and high school teachers, um, but you can also use it as well for um, elementary school. But as far as structure and just kind of easing your way into um, instruction, I feel like it's very important to do things that are um, instructional. Um, a lot of our kids have spent a lot of time without any routines, without any structure, without any knowledge of what's going on. <laughs> And so I feel like, especially with me having eighth graders, I want to really truly prepare them for ninth grade and I want to be intentional about that from day one. Yes, we have had a lot of fun and when I'm talking and doing my writing prompts with them, we've been having conversation, um, good conversation at that and um, talking about life and just really enjoying each other's company and get to know each other but also setting those routines. So for example, I have them come in the morning grab their notebooks and they have been doing a warm-up. The warm-ups haven't been super structure, educational. Like today I said, what was your, like, um, what was the best birthday you ever had? Explain that to me. Explain how that day went to me, right? So that's something light, but that gets them in the routine of writing, coming in and doing a warm-up. And then we get to discuss that and, and have fun talks about it. And I got to have side conversations with them about their life and then I even got to point out some um, things that they could work on when it came to their writing and trying to push and encourage them to write more because um, some of them were only trying to write like one or two sentences um, and it was like no so yeah so I just wanted to come on and show y'all and talk to y'all about what I have done so far this week and what I plan to do for the rest of the week these are things that you can always pop in here and there but forming a routine um, and for, forming a solid uh, a standard, I guess, or um, environment, a good environment in your classroom is very, very good and very, like, important to do. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So for Monday, this Monday, I did, I just went over the syllabus as far as like what my expectations was, um, uh, the grading, how I'll be grading or the things I'll be focused on so they can pay attention to that. Um, so what I did was I created like a scavenger hunt for um, the syllabus, which I did get from one of my coworkers. And so I just had the kids like, uh, how many days do you have to turn in your stuff? When is all the classwork due? And then they had to like pretty much answer that. Um, and so we did that on Monday. I also took them through a crash course of my Canvas um, course and what is all on there, what do all those buttons mean and all that stuff. So we went through everything in there. So Monday was pretty chill. Um, every single day I have been re-alliterating my expectations. I've been very, like I said, just said in the beginning, um, like my routine, like grabbing your stuff because some of them, I have them grabbing their stuff as soon as they walk in the classroom, um, their notebook and their folder from like this mailbox area that I have. So I've been reminding them as soon as they walk in, did you get your stuff? Make sure you get your stuff so that it becomes a habit and a routine for them. Um, so just making sure that you alliterate those routines and those habits like within the first two, two to three weeks. So that they know, okay, this is what I'm doing when I come in our class. This is what she expects of me or what he expects of me. Now, you don't have to be like no drill sergeant or nothing. We're not being mean to the kids, okay? We're not being mean to the kids. But just kind of just sit in the tone of like, this is what's going on and this is what we're expecting. Um, on Tuesday, I definitely did a goal sheet. And I feel like that's typical. Um, but what I did talk to them about was really what goals mean and what does it mean to have goals so what I did as soon as they walked in the class I had a warm-up on the board that asked them what do the word goals mean to them and what does it mean to have goals and what do you need to have a goal then we um, 
did a print off goal sheet where I had them come up with one reading goal and then one personal goal um, and I made sure that they could track it and make sure that um, it was a realistic goal um, as far as like can you reach that by the end of the school year you know what I mean so we uh, worked on that and I think that's a good thing to always do with your kids because they need to set goals and not only set them but y'all definitely for sure make sure that you track them throughout the year so that they understand the meaning of goals and really take that far with them another thing and then what we did today was we did spelling and phonics so a lot of my kids I want to make sure that they understand vocabulary they understand words and how to use them how sounds affect how things are spelled and how um, we can change meaning of words and stuff right so I told them that it's something that we're going to really work on even though they're in eighth and that might seem elementary I still want them to value those things and work on those things so we definitely will be working on those things so today what we did was we had some words that were scrambled up and I would say the word out loud like for example um, admission and so like I kept saying that word and based on me saying the words and me putting the letters together and splitting it up into its syllables so how would you spell that word and so we talked about that and we talked about how sounds correlate with how word is spelled and then we talked about meanings of words and then I had um, I forgot what word it was but I took it and I took the prefix off that word and put it with another word and so that they understand how that works as well so that's definitely something you can do with your kids um, you could also do like if you have math you could do like a math sheet and then and do the same thing just something to get y'all interacting but it not something like extremely hard or difficult but it puts them in the mindset of something that you'll be doing but on like a low scale easier note and instead of having them do it by themselves I said the words out loud and then they all had to guess which was the correct word or the correct spelling based off what I said instead of like huh take this and do it I interact with it interacted with them and they got it done um, and then tomorrow which is on Thursday because I'm recording this video on Wednesday um, to post on Wednesday um, so for Thursday tomorrow we'll be um, focusing a lot on writing and we'll like well a portion of it will be writing as far as like um, how do you write a paragraph? How do you start a paragraph? Um, what all words do you put in a paragraph? Um, how to structure a paragraph? How to structure a sentence? Because a lot of kids um, struggle with like structuring sentences and um, over all the different genres tomorrow and talk about what they are, what they mean, so that they know when I'm reading uh, informational or persuasive writing or a uh, scientific fiction right they know how to identify it so that it helps them comprehend it helps them understand what they're reading and process what they're reading um, and then Friday we will do um, like a little fun game of reading and analyzing so we'll be talking about um, the concepts of reading and analyzing things um, this is more for my middle school and high school um, teachers as far as what I did this week because um, we do do the get to knows me like two truths and a lie um, cross the line um, a bunch of fun different games but for this year I know the kids spent a lot of time out of routine and not understanding a lot of things and so from the beginning I want to establish like routine I want to establish um, having fun but knowing when to lean off because they spent like the last year and a half with this COVID mess and like and then um, now they're back fully and so trying to understand routines and how that works so yes um, that's pretty much all I've done this week. I know this video is kind of like out of place and random, but I really just wanted to come on here and chat with y'all and talk about what I've been doing so far and what I plan to do. Um, I plan to have a lot of fun with these kids this year, but I also plan on really, really being intentional about setting them up 
for high school because I feel like once they move to ninth grade, like they either ready or they're not. You know what I'm saying? And like that definitely them being ready or not definitely make a difference in their high school career and what they take after high school. So as a teacher, especially a middle school or a high school teacher, be super intentional about the students that you work with because you never know how much that can impact their next year and let alone their future. So please, please, please try to be intentional. And with the babies that I got, I like to call them my babies, um, and y'all know what I mean. Um, with my babies, I really, it's really, really important to me that they get to where they need to be and that they get everything that they deserve to get as far as educational wise and life. So yes, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tap, tap, tap the notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl upload. And remember, be humble, be inspiring, be kind y'all, and don't forget to shine. I see y'all on the next one. Peace. Bye.